Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you for joining me in Poodles Advent Countdown. 24 projects coming out to you, two a week, all the way through and into December. Loads have been in the past. Go back and check them out. Loads still to come. And of course, with Christmas, you've got to do the candy cane thing. I've been doing candy cane pouches since I first started Poodles Advent Countdown back in 2013. So this is the fifth year, the sixth series that I've done and candy cane lane and obviously we've got candy cane season as a stamp set and punch and I love our candy cane so there's two in there little envelope punch board pouch okay how do you make it need a piece of paper that's five and a half by five and a half inches 14 by 14 centimeters super super easy so on the first side score it at one and seven eighths of an inch which is 4.8 centimeters and you punch and score and this is flocked paper so you be careful and then you use this scored line you probably can't see there's a line here that I've scored line it up to this little bit sticking out and there's a line there line it up to that punch and score and you do this on three sides and you line it up again punch and score then on the fourth side you simply punch okay so scoot that out of the way and fold up these score lines now you can see that it overlaps it's too it's you need to make a little hole for it to peep through you can't see it and the way to do that is you fold it back on itself and you're in the right area. Where's my circle punch? And you eyeball it through. And then that one will hopefully poke through just about right. Yes, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna put adhesive on these parts. I'm gonna grab my fuse because it's here and it's handy. Poke it through and get your fingers inside to make it stick. And this one we can put more adhesive. Don't put it right to the end because we're going to trim that bit off or fold it round. Entirely up to you. There we go. And again, put your fingers inside to make sure it's all sticking down. Like I say, that's a little bit, I'm not over keen on that. It's sticking out a tiny bit. Where's my mini glue dots? It's just sticking up there a bit too much and I want it to stick down a bit. That's better. Scissors, snip it off. And that one. Oh, sorry, the breeze. Okay, so the candy canes, they're going to fit nicely in there, but I want to get it decorated first. Look at that. How cute. So, undecided about the ribbon and the stamping colour. So, I've got shaded spruce, but I don't think that's right. I think Call Me Clover is the one that I want to go to match this as opposed to the green inside. So I've got shaded spruce and I've got silver ribbon. Let's just do stamping first. So, let's get some scraps of white. Here's a piece. I'm going to go with the same one that I had before. Um, with a photopolymer stamp, let it relax a little bit. Um, and I'm going to take the bow as well. Woo! Throw everything around. So just let it relax on your tabletop first before you pick it up. And it's going to have corny flavour. I want real red on, no I don't want poppy parade on that one, which I forgot to get out. Good job everything's handy, isn't it? So, let's punch that one first. If you were doing lots of these, I would be creating a template so that you know exactly where to stand in future. But, I'm only doing one. Well, actually, probably I'm doing two more after this to make four in total for my four boys. Oh, it's Friday as well. Treat Friday. There we go. 
So let's bring in the ever faithful Wink of Stella. And if I zoom in, hopefully. you will see the colour move about. You can, I hope you can see that. I can see it really well, but obviously by moving my lens closer, I've moved the spotlight closer as well. So I'm moving that red around to make it pinky. Let me just scooch that off. So it's all a bit pinky and then I'm actually just going to colour the green. I'm not going to move it. I just, well, I just want to glitterise it. Glitterise it? Glitter it. <laughs> I'm making out words. Glitterise. <laughs> Let's glitterise this project. That is such a word. Challenge for you. Get it on social media. Glitterise. Wouldn't know how you spell it with an S or a Z. No idea. Okay. I don't know what happened. I tried to move my lens up and it went, please turn off your camera and start again. So let's try that again. I hope you didn't miss too much. So well, I don't know if I want this wrapped round or if I want the green. I think I want the green. We'll have the green and yeah, actually I think the green works. So. Hmm. I'm going to say it's probably, oh that's far too loose, it's probably because I've got a heavy spotlight, I've got a ring light on my camera so that's probably why I went, oh, I don't want to lift it up. Shall we repeat that? Attempt at a square knot and try and get it a little tighter. That's better. Okay, pop our little candy cane under there, so I'm going to have a couple of little glue dots. There and there. One behind the bow, so it's poking up there. Two candy canes inside. Adorable projects done. Oh, so cute. Oh, I like it. Can you see the glitter? Can you see that on there? And I've done it on the red one as well, but I'm not sure that you can see it. But very cute. I love them. <gasps> anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope I can splice these two videos together. Speak to you very soon. Bye.